Hey, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Dano Crypto. So on this channel, I'm going to show you guys how to make simple, effective, and easy moves in this cryptocurrency ecosystem. So we have seen that BTC retracement that we've been kind of waiting for off of that top of 73K. We've seen the BTC ETF outflows being very strong recently, and we're seeing the altcoin market and the meme market being very volatile all at the same time. So how are you going to trade this? How are you going to implement your strategy during these times? And how are you preparing yourself for the crypto bull run that we are currently in, but we're just in the beginning, guys? So, but first, before we get into the coins that I'm going to talk about, I'm going to go through my altcoin picks. I'm going to go through the portfolio and I'm going to go through just a couple of different strategies that I think will help you guys succeed in this next bull run. I've made the mistakes in the previous bull runs to know that I will not round trip these bags this time. And I'm sure you guys will not do the same thing. But first, hit the like button hit the subscribe button and do me a favor, hit the bell to be notified when I make these new cryptocurrency videos so you can get these videos immediately on your phone. If you're watching on the TV, there's a cheat code. You hit up, up, right, right, select, and that's how you hit the like button on the TV. So guys, let's get right into it. So first we're going to go into the portfolio that is built on CoinMarketCap. We started with adding our base portfolio together that includes a kind of a mixed bag. This is a mixed bag of layer ones, layer twos. We got some gaming tokens on here. We have some Bitcoin narrative stuff. We have um, just a little bit of everything. So I think this is a good place to start if you're wanting to look into some narratives that I think are really strong. And so right now, if you want to look, we have the ultimate best performer out of the portfolio has been Pepe. So this is just showing you that the meme narrative, even with the previous memes of last year, are doing very well. So things like Pepe, Doge, and a lot of these uh, old memes plus the new memes are still doing very well. So that means that the meme narrative is there. And then we also have things like, we have things like, uh, Phantom and the layer, the layer twos like Metis, Optimism, Arbitrum are doing very, very well. So the layer two narrative along with Ethereum is a very strong narrative. I think once people start to understand that Ethereum isn't going anywhere, it's still going to be a top performer in the market. The whole layer two DAP ecosystem relies on Ethereum to be successful. So I think that along with Ethereum, naturally it going into the future is going to be picked up by institutions. There will be an ETF for Ethereum. We just have to uh, let, the, let the months go by, let them do their denial thing, let them do the little circus like they did with Bitcoin, and then we will see that approval. So what is that going to do? Well, that's going to make the... Um, protocols and also the coins linked with Ethereum are going to pump. So which coin is going to, I think, be the safest, easiest 10, 15, 20x coin would be something like Chainlink. So something like Chainlink, we saw go as high as $50 to maybe $53 in the previous market, previous bull run in 2021. And that, this coin also, if you learn about Chainlink, is is very crucial in the operations of DeFi as a whole. So I think Chainlink is something that the OGs, they love talking about Chainlink. They like to say that Chainlink has the most partnerships out of every single coin, which it's true. They have the most partnerships out of every single coin in the ecosystem. So I think that alone is super bullish for Chainlink. So it's definitely one of my top picks. And so... We start going down the line, we look at gaming tokens, we look at Medieval Empires. Medieval Empires is something uh, that the game's fun, the token is also um, stakeable, and when you stake it, you get rewards. So in that, the coin has HODL 
mechanisms built into it, which ultimately will have a supply and demand mechanism that will make this price surge over time. So what I see here in these patterns and the coins that I'm picking is we have the layer twos, we have gaming, we have Bitcoin, we have the Bitcoin narratives and the protocols like stacks and uh, ordinals. We're uh, investing a little bit into ordinals. So what we're doing is going into what we think is going to have the most volume, what's going to have the most traction, and what is going to be following the trends. So we like to use a little bit of on-chain metrics. So we're going to use some of these on-chain metrics to see, okay, what chains have been having the most total value locked over the dynamics of the largest chains? We have Ethereum, Tron, BNB, Solana, Arbitrum, Bitcoin. Bitcoin now having 15 protocols, which is amazing. That was unheard of back in the day. Excuse me. We have Avalanche, Polygon, and Optimism. So all of these coins have great total value locked and great trading volume and also uh, protocols out the wazoo. So on these chains is where you're going to find those side coins and protocols. For instance, on Ethereum, tons of protocols where you can go into things like um, Aave, MakerDAO, and then uh, go into Avalanche, where you can use Trader Joe, and you have, um, and then you have Curve, uh, Radium on Solana, Pancake Swap for BNB, Uniswap, Multi Chain, then Lido DAO. So these are things that we want to look at. So we're looking at the chains, and then we're looking at the protocols and the DApps that are on those chains as well. And then you want to get into the actual. What are the you know, the gainers of the day, you know, for big exchanges like Binance. So we're seeing things like the memes, Pepe, Book of Mean, Boom, which is the new uh, record-breaking meme that was on Solana. Now, Phantom. Phantom is one of our great picks for an ecosystem that I think in the previous bull run did amazing, went all the way as high as $3, and now is sitting at a price point of, if we're looking at FTM, is at a dollar and thirteen cents. So we just recently saw a massive pump with this, with I think news of them getting new developments in the chain and um, more value coming in. So I, I see this coin getting back up into these all-time highs. And what's so great about a lot of these altcoins right now is they are kind of sitting in these cup and handle patterns, like car, you know, Link is sitting in is sitting in that pattern. Um, there's some that are just in, just kind of going into uh, breakout modes like Naka, uh, XYO. A lot of these coins are starting to form buy zones. Pepe, I just want to mention, you know, Pepe is the, is the potential of breaking completely past its all-time high and showing that strength that the memes are one of the narratives that can get you more Bitcoin. So that's the whole point, is when you're trading memes, the ultimate goal is to get more BTC. So I think that's the that's a good strategy to have, is to ultimately get more of that BTC. So now this is what people are wondering, because we're gonna get into the BTC price predictions here. So I think, we're on an uptrend still. I don't think we're dumping down to 51. That is the price that everyone, I think the bears would love Bitcoin to go down to 51. I think every, I think there's a lot of people that would like it to go down to 51 so they can buy cheaper. But I think that we, at any low point, would be going to 59,368 on the bottom of this wick and then getting supported way back up because there would be so much buy pressure coming into these levels right here that I think going into getting closer to the having, getting more people interested in Bitcoin that I don't think it will be able to sustain any more lower down pressure.
So that is my personal opinion. And I think that if anything, I would not get fooled by thinking you can short the market right here or think that, I mean, if anything, we could maybe go as low as 61. We could go as low as 59. But then past that point, I, I feel like the, the supply and demand mechanisms of this having coming up with Bitcoin is going to be substantial. It's going to be substantial because you see the price movements that we came in through with the third halving and we had all of these different black swan things happening. We, we have less demons in the closet. We have less skeletons in the closet right now, I believe, that will send our prices to these shocking levels that Kathy Wood of ARK Invest is, is predicting a $3.8 million Bitcoin price target. And th I mean, so people like Kathy Wood are giving a price prediction of as anywhere to surge to $1.5 million. So she said that her confidence has actually increased amid a, a regional bank crisis in the United States. So, you know, I think that her bullish case is is correct if we're going to analyze the DXY and if we're thinking that that dollar strength is going to be going down. And, you know, right now, yeah, it's kind of starting to think like it's trending up, but we could be swinging back down into these 98 98 territory or going back into the territories of 89 right here on the index and what can that do for bitcoin well when it was on those lower levels that was when we were seeing the tops of bitcoin and where bitcoin is gaining strength so can we see these inverse uh indications for the dollar and bitcoin um will that not really matter when the halving happens, well, we'll see. When we go into this halving, uh, this is a really amazing chart to look at. It's the Bitcoin rainbow halving chart. So you can see clear patterns of what happens to the Bitcoin price after these halving events. You can see a clear move into the red. And you can see now that we have been uh, in these sustaining prices <laughs> What's so amazing is that we're now we're in the prices of uh, in the sustain line in orange sixty three thousand before the halving, and this was the price at the top after the third halving. I feel like we're going to go into Kathy Wood's price predictions when we start getting into twenty twenty five. Because you have to think about the middle points of where these price points are. Look at this middle point, look at this middle point, and look at these middle point prices going into the red. 150,000, 160,000, 200,000, 250,000, and the price just gets infinitely more expensive and it gets harder and harder and harder to own Bitcoin or a piece of Bitcoin, one Bitcoin, a quarter Bitcoin. And so that's what the game is all about. Getting more sats, stacking the sats. And so guys, I hope some of these altcoins that I that I ran you through and some of the some of the strategy, hopefully it helps. I know right now the market is very volatile. There's gonna be a lot of fake outs. There's going to be a lot of FUD. But I think what that is is to shake you out of the market. It's to shake you out of the market, to scare you, to ultimately get you to sell, because trust me, there's a wave coming into this market. The crypto market right now is only at a 2.5 to 3 trillion market. That's only the size of like one company in, in, in terms of what we have in uh, across the world. So just get ready, guys. Be patient. Build your bags. Take profits. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.